Hello guys, Sylvia here. I am your psychic artist and mystic coach and today I'm here to share another little part of my story and to release with you as a ritual my past year and my Magdalene, Mary Magdalene. Today, July 22nd, is St. Mary's St. Mary uh, Magdalene's Day and to me it has a particular meaning, a very special meaning. First of all, I was born, um, no I was born, I raised, I raised up in a village where St. Mary uh, Magdalene, she was the saint of my village and so every year on July 22nd, we had a big feast, <laughs> all the village celebrating Mary Magdalene. And during the years, actually many years later, just around five, six years ago, hi Stuart, welcome. I feel so happy to have you here. So I found out that July 22nd is actually the last day of my year and to be more precise of my astrological year. Why? Uh, for years I've been studying my horoscopes, um, my solar return, that means the horoscope of my year, the one that recurs each and every year. Um, you know, when the sun recurs each and every year in the very same position it was the day I was born. Yeah, Stuart, I'm okay, I'm fine. I'm just releasing this year in a kind of ritual, special ritual for me. And, and so, let me, let me show you. I got this book. This book is How to Get More Love, Money and Success by traveling on your birthday by Bob Marx. So I've been doing this for something like 20 years, uh, checking my um, sun return and traveling on the day of my birthday, maybe the day before, you know, uh, each time I could and each time I felt I had to go. And by reading this book, I just found out that um, around three months before our birthday, the wheel of our year, of our astrological year, clicks. And so for me, because my birthday is October 23rd, three months before my birthday, it's July 23rd. And so since I found out about this new hint in this book, I, start, I started paying attention and I noticed that it was true. Um, around the end of July, every year, I experience a kind of shift. Um, I perceive that vibrations are different, that new elements are coming into my life, um, new circumstances, new, new vibes, let me say new vibes. And so, you know, I paid more and more attention and I came to the conclusion that it was true. So, in the last two, two, three years, I've been celebrating July 22nd as the last day of my year and truly looking forward to the new year ahead with a lot of joy and an open heart uh, starting from tomorrow. And last year, at that time, last summer at that time, I was attending a creative retreat and on this day, last year, I went through a masterclass on St. Mary Magdalene and I painted her. And she's here with me, I'll show you, here she is. Mm, I love her, I love her so much. She came out after a session of you know, maybe one hour and a half, two hours, and I dive deeper into the cave of myself, and I painted in layers, and then she came up so, so powerfully. And last year, I also went back to my village, the village where I spent my childhood, 
because I knew there was a feast there. And so I went into the church and I found the statue of Magdalene and I took some pictures and it was truly a ritual to go back to my place, uh, you know, see the church and see the people. And, you know, there was this atmosphere, very, very mystic, mystical atmosphere. And so I connected very deeply with Magdalene and she came to me with a series of messages. Yes, you are truly amazing. And I'm telling the story because this year have been, has been um, the materialization of the messages that Magdalene told me last year. <laughs> so as a ritual, I'm releasing her today. And, you know, I also brought my, my journal where I wrote down all the notes. Here I am, back. So all the notes that, the thing that she said to me during the session. And I want to read some of them to you as well, so that you can understand how she Uh, influenced in a positive way my year. Here are some other notes. I, I wrote them with my non-dominant hand, with my left hand, and more notes. <laughs> and let me just read some of the things that came, came up as I was attuning with her. So she said, my name is cold, my name is love. Layers upon layers, peel them back one after another. What are the messages and what do they, what do they have in common? The contemplative path, see, transform and behold. Overcome death, speak and pray to the water so it can change. What is the echo in my heart from this story? And she said to me, proclaim a new life, new hope, new direction. <laughs> so amazing, because this is what I lived this year. Magdalene converted all who heard the sounds of her voice to the power and truth of her teachings. She is the bulb for the world. Going into the cave of my heart, I need to develop the discernment in my heart of what is true. Where is God calling me? What's the pathway I'm, I'm here to follow? Magdalene is the one who teaches and blesses, who holds her heart of all the faithful, who guides, who guides them into courage. And she says, she said to me, sister, please teach what you know that we don't know. And there is something else, something very powerful. I, I just... Let me, let me found it because I just read it before this live. Oh yes, here it is. She said, stay in your truth despite your positions. In the light and in the darkness, even though the world makes jokes of you and your vision, stay pure in your heart and bloom through love. So one year later, this is actually what I have done. <laughs> this is what I have embodied. I attune more and more with the voice of my heart. I start sharing my gifts. I faced my inner truth, which is art. <laughs> I painted uh, around something like 
I guess 20, 23 paintings in a few months. And I declare to the world to the world that I'm an artist and I'm a coach and I'm into the teaching, into the sharing of these that are my gifts to the world, sharing them to the world, speaking my truth, voicing my truth, let people to hear my voice. <sighs> oh my, my Lord. So again, then she gave me other symbols like a cave, spirals, the red egg, roses, circles, circles, <laughs> so many circles, drums, she said reclaim your title, speak your truth with love in the world, and then she said the language of the paintbrush, I hope that I can truly pass this magic and this wisdom that she gave me one year ago and as a ritual because this is the last day of my year before the wheel will click tomorrow and I will you know step into a new chapter of my life I'm already feeling the vibrations. Um, I decided to release my Magdalene because she stayed with me for a year and she guided me with her wisdom. She is the symbol of inner wisdom, inner strength. She's the symbol of standing in our truth. And one year later, I can tell you that this is what I've done. And what I am doing, it's a process. And so I'm ready to release, to release here. So the painting is this one. She's my Magdalene. She has one bright star here. That is my symbol as well. Uh, the symbol of truth, of light, of power. And she comes with a letter as well, with all the messages that she, she said to me last year and all her wisdom, so that the owner of this painting can sip her wisdom as well. So she comes uh, framed and the dimension of this uh, painting, it's around 20 centimeter by 28 approximately 20 by 28 so when you feel the call of Magdalene this is yours you private message me and I give you more details so that you can have her and hold her in your sacred space in your home whenever you feel that she she desires to be she is so powerful I love for you to to stare at her eyes for a moment. Okay, guys, so I'm releasing her when you feel that she's yours, she's yours. Just message me and I complete like this with you, this year of mine that has been so transformative and so focused on the truth of on my truth on the embodiment of my truth and at the beginning it was a bit challenging i have to say it was challenging to bring my art out there and show my art to people not just online but even during my live art shows and the art shows I've been doing are, have been so, so transformative as well and so clarifying for me about what my next step is, what I desire to do, who I desire to be, how I desire to transform. 
So okay, I'm completing my year and I release all the energies. I say thank you. I am immensely grateful for this year. One year later, reading my journals and, you know, looking back, looking at the pictures, looking at my notes, looking at the proofs of my transformation, which are my portraits. First of all, my portraits. Um, I am deeply grateful and I'm looking forward to more transformations, more shifts, more miracles in my life so released in all spaces times and dimensions releasing 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 and as a symbol of this releasing i release my dear magdalene as well she's ready to come to you when you desire her and i complete my year like this so private message me when you feel the call of Magdalene and I'm looking forward to the next time I'm going to see you and meet you here. Many kisses. Enjoy. Lots of joy.